when I look at the teams that I have been on, whether aviation or just, you know, teams that are doing other things outside of this aviation world, like the one thing that I think really connects a team together is trust Mm. and having that trust where you feel safe to provide feedback without the blame Mm. or shame, where we don't feel like we're going to be judged or punished for saying, Hey, I, I made a mistake. Like I didn't do this well. You know, do we have that safe environment where people are willing to make those mistakes and share them? Because to me, that's that next step, right? You can debrief, you can talk about your mistakes with your small group, but can you even have the courage to now share it more broadly so that the rest of the team can learn from it? And that is a really hard thing to do. Um, But I think we have the ability to learn from others' mistakes when they can, you know, step up, acknowledge it, Mm-hmm. Talk to us about the mistake. Tell us what they learned from it. I mean, this is the whole point of your podcast, but yeah. like, then we share it with others so that others can learn too. I mean that, but you've got to have trust. You've got to have that environment where people feel safe to do that. And to me, that is a hundred percent on the leader. It is the leader's yeah. role to create that environment of trust and then build that within their team. 